everyone. Thanks for joining me with Check It Out with Carmela T. So um, I'm doing a part one and a part two. And the part one is just to um, help you come along with me. I just want to show you at the thrift shop, I got uh, two pillowcases and they're both silk and they're soft. And you know, this one has to be ironed and I will iron it. <laughs> But they're soft and um, they complement each other. There's um, uh, this is a very dark gray actually, and it, it's not really showing up. But and this is a light gray, so these complement each other beautifully, really. And um, and they're soft and they're silk. So um, I, you know, I play around with um, sometimes just using. Uh, fabrics when they're they go together so beautifully like this um, and not really add other fabrics now the other fabrics I'm toying around with if I use them is this one definitely for the backing okay I, I love this I used this as the backing for the charity blanket so it's soft and this is a soft soft cotton but you know you see how nice it would look with the with these um fabrics and then this is this is a blend this is not a uh, rayon or or cotton but it's a blend probably polyester so i toggle back and forth if i should use this i mean if i do um and they hand wash the scarf uh, it's fine this will be fine um and that's the beauty of hand washing in tepid water with very mild soap, uh, the fibers blend, the blends and the organics can both handle that as long as you're not putting major uh, agitation <laughs> to them. So, um, and then I've got this. This is a piece of canvas that I thought I might cut out and do some sashiko stitching on there. Now the method I'm using uh, to create this scarf, um, I'm gonna preface this with, when uh, the Cantha method is used for, to take the sarongs, they take the sarongs and layer them and the uh, fiber artist uh, or crafter is sewing them together to create a blanket now the way i made my charity blanket that hem that i used to fold over the in the last uh, videos when i folded over the hems that's a cantha method that's that's a method they use when they're making a quilt so to make the scarf um i'm going to layer them i don't you know look i don't know these are pillowcases. These are silk pillowcases. Uh, I'm not sure yet um, how I'm going to approach this because I want evenness and consistency. So I don't know if I'm going to actually cut it and um, layer them and then sew them. Or if I'm going to have this on one end and this on another and um, have the scarf kind of like that and then have a layer, of course, the backing, but then have another layer, or if that would be too much. So I'm gonna play around with it um, and uh, so that it's comfortable and it's, um, and I am going to use the Cantha method of bringing the back to the front for the hem and sewing the uh, Cantha style, the the slow stitches, a couple of rows, space, couple of rows, space. Now, the Sashiko stitch stitches, uh, like I said, may be on a little patch and may be, it may be minimal. And um, that's what I'm looking at currently. You know, sometimes you start these projects and you say, this is what I'm going to do it and you get into it. <laughs> And then you're stitching all over the place just because you feel that's the way that project should go. So, um, but I wanted to share that with you in case you want to come along with me, um, you know, get uh, a sheet, you know, if you're making a scarf, 
and you want it to be soft and you have a silk sheet and it's old is sitting around or you go to the thrift shop and you get one, um, you know, they're a dollar, uh, or 50 cents. And, you know, in, in the linen section of the thrift shop, probably not too much, they shouldn't be charging too, too much. And, um, but get your stuff together. And then in the next clip, I'll give you, a, um, you know, show you like I usually do the, the steps that I took to, to make this. So um, I'll have this made pr most likely in the next day. This is going to go fairly quickly because it is so small. And this is, uh, uh, I know from making blankets, this is a, an area of sewing that I can get done within a day. <laughs> so um, it's always though the design part and picking your fabrics and deciding really the technique. So this is another mixing technique. And um, I think it's going to be lovely. So anyway, um, come along with me and be inspired and know that you don't have to be a professional and um, at all. You just you have the desire to sew. That's why I take a very relaxed uh, approach to everything um, in my crafts because um, when you get, to, and I've learned all the rules, but when you get really rigid with the rules, then you start to constrict your own creativity. And I went through that and, 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 um, but there, there are people out there who can apply, uh, the rules and be very creative, not to say they're, they're not so, but whatever works for you, but this is for, um, people who really are, uh, developing, uh, their creativity and, you know, may feel a little intimidated by, um, too many of uh, rules. <laughs> Anyway, hand sewing. That's where we're going to stand this one. So um, thank you. And uh, thank you for subscribing and jump on board. It's free and uh, love and light. And I'll see you in the next one.